Okay, we do a lot of talk about manifesting and manifestation and how to manifest. And so today I wanted to go into what this word actually means, look at the history because that can help us identify what this word actually means. And then that's going to help your understanding of what it means to manifest and to enjoy your manifestations. And so that is what we're doing today. Stick around. My name is Hedley Dorenzi. If you would like support stepping into the starring role of your movie, you are the star anyway, but if you'd like support to really step into it and understand and know that you're the star and live as the star, I am available for one-to-one -one law of assumption coaching. I also have a free 21 day set yourself up with the ultimate self-concept course, which is the ultimate story that you want to be telling because it is the stories that you tell that create your reality. So if you would like any support with any of that, you'll find the details in the box below this video or at my website, youaretheone.com.au. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, today we're talking about what it actually means to manifest and what manifestation means as a word because I love language and I love understanding where a word comes from and what the original meaning of the word is. It's called etymology and it's basically the understanding of the original meanings of words and language because language is the signpost for awareness. We use language to direct our awareness to the states that we are going to experience. And so we want to be aware of the words that we are using because that sets up our awareness and directs it to where we want it or don't want it to go because we're using language in the way we think and we are also using language in the way we speak. So the words you think and the words you speak are super important because that is going to direct your awareness and where you direct your awareness that is going to impress the subconscious and that's going to get projected out and reflected back in your reality. So it's not the words that create, it's the state of consciousness associated with the words that commands the subconscious that creates reality. So we talk a lot about manifesting. We talk about manifestation and we use the word manifest a lot. So manifesting works whether you know it or not. But I find when I understand what a word means, I am choosing more consciously the words that I'm using. And I'm also not using words when I understand what they originally mean as opposed to what they've come to mean. Because what happens with language is over time, language, the meaning of a word can actually move away from the original meaning and it comes to mean something else. But really that word still holds that original meaning. So let's look at the word manifest and manifestation because I think when you see where this word comes from, it's going to kind of supercharge your understanding of it. And that I think is going to assist in the way you use this word. So let's first of all look at manifestation. So I use an app called Etim Online and I'll put it in the credits if you're interested. You don't need to know this stuff in order for it to work. It works anyway. And of course, we're always manifesting whether we know it or not. But this work that we're doing, it just helps us to manifest more consciously and direct awareness towards more of what it is that we want to experience rather than what it is that we don't want to experience. So manifestation, early 15th century, I can't say that, <laughs> action of disclosing what is secret, obscure, or unseen, exhibition or demonstration. So when we're talking about manifestation, this is what that means. It's coming from the unseen into the seen and it is being exhibited. It is being demonstrated. It is now in the physical world. It is now a solidified act or thing or object originating from consciousness and stems from Latin manifestare to discover, disclose, betray, meaning an object, action or presence by which something is made manifest. So that's manifestation, but let's look at the word manifest. Manifest, late 14th century, clearly revealed to the eye or the understanding, open to view or comprehension. From Old French, manifest, evident, palpable, and from 12th century, directly from Latin, manifestus, plainly apprehensible, clear, apparent, evident, proved by direct evidence. What it's saying is that it's come from the unseen, it's now in evidence, it's now plainly apprehensible, it's clear, it's apparent, it's in our reality. Now, of course, anything in reality is a manifestation because anything in reality is now manifested. It's come into evidence. It's, it's clear. It's apparent. We can see it. We can experience it. 
We know this, but this is where this word gets interesting. So man means hand, and now let's look up fest. What fest means? The German fest, meaning festival. It also comes from Latin festum, festival or holiday of a feast. So let's think about that. So it is essentially a festival of sensory experiences. It's a festival. It is the arrival. It is the celebration of what you've been doing in consciousness. It is now here. It is now in form. It is now apparent. It is now evident. And you get to experience it. You get to have the festival. You get to have the feast. You get to feast on your manifestations, the objects and the things and the situations that you have brought into manifestation. And it also means a holiday. So every day that you experience, every 24 hour cycle is a festival of consciousness that's been solidified into form that you now get to experience and feast on with your five senses. That's essentially what this is. So this is all about enjoying life. This is about enjoying what you have brought into the world, what you have birthed from consciousness because your consciousness in human form, giving birth to form, through what it is that you're focusing on with your awareness. And then here it is, it's here. You wake up in the morning and the day has arrived. The festival is here, the feast is on, where you now get to feast on these experiences that you've brought into being, that you've caused. And it's a holiday, it's a celebration, it's a festival, it's a feast, enjoy it. This is an opportunity, this is a calling to enjoy your life and enjoy the manifestations. Now. If you're creating things and causing things that you don't want to experience, then there's some work to be done. But it's still about enjoying what you've brought into manifestation because everything in manifestation does come from you. It's birthed from you and it is a feast. It's a festival that you want to be enjoying because it's come from you. So even though it might not be what you wanted, it is still yours. It is still a manifestation and it's still evidence of your creative power. And so each day is for you to experience and enjoy and feast on and celebrate your manifestations, what you have manifested into physical form that you are now experiencing with your five senses. And in order to create that next 24 hour cycle, meaning the manifestations of tomorrow, you want to tithe with God. I'll link the video to tithing with God, what that actually means. But just in summary, it doesn't mean what we've come to think it means. Tithing with God is you want to give 10% of your income every day. So during every festival, every 24 hour cycle, you want to tithe with God and give 10% of your income to God. What does that mean? It means 10% of your ability to go within. Income as a word means from the original meaning, the ability to go within, to come in and to close off from the festival, to shut down our awareness of this physical world that we are enjoying and to tithe with God, tithe with our imagination, connect in with our imagination and create the futures that we want to experience, to create the festivals in imagination, to feast on what it is that we want to experience that's not yet in physical form and to imagine it knowing that what we're doing today we are setting up for tomorrow. So we're enjoying the festival. We're feasting on our manifestations today. We're enjoying the life that we've created for ourselves now, but we are also spending 10% of our income. We are investing 10% of our income to tithe with God every day. We're giving 10% of our attention every day to go within and shut out the outside world and to go into our imagination and to imagine what it is that we want to experience tomorrow so that we're not just playing out the same thing over and over again. We are actually consciously bringing in new futures by imagining them. We are tithing with God, tithing with imagination. Tithing just means connection. Income just means to go in and God is just imagination. So every day during your festival of manifestations, during the feast of your senses, you want to connect with your imagination. Imagine these new futures that you are wanting to experience in this next coming festival, which is happening tomorrow, tomorrow, meaning everything is happening now. And what we're setting up in consciousness will be out pictured and manifested uh, in physical form when we wake up in this next 24 hour cycle. So everything is happening now, but it is important that you're enjoying life. You're experiencing your manifestations fully and then giving some time to God. 10% of your income means 10% of your waking life. What is that? How long are you awake during the day? And then give 10% of that to God. Give 10% of that to your imagination. So I worked it out for me. It's about 45 minutes morning and night. 
I can handle that. That's great. And that's 45 minutes and let's say an hour of just imagining my future creations. And it doesn't have to be that much either. You figure it out what works for you just as long as you're enjoying your life as well as investing some of your attention with your imagination to create the futures that you want to experience so that you're not just experiencing more of what it is that you've already experienced or that you don't want to experience again. I'm going to live from the end of what it is that I want to experience and then I'm going to go to sleep and have the best night's sleep and let my subconscious figure things out and then I'm going to wake up tomorrow and woohoo, it's a new festival. Let's feast again. So that's what I wanted to share. Enjoy your life. Enjoy these manifestations. Enjoy your capacity to manifest. You are manifesting anyway. Your whole life is a manifestation. And it's all about learning to direct awareness more proficiently towards more of what it is that you want and less of what it is that you don't want. So enjoy your life. Feast on these experiences that you've brought into being. Enjoy this sensory experience called life. Please remember you are the amazing creators of your reality. You are the superstar of your show. You are the producer, the writer, the director, and the actor in your movie. What you assume to be true will be so. So assume the best for you. Assume the best for everyone in your movie too. And you will have an amazing life. And this is my wish, my vision, and my prayer for you and for me too. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for doing this work. Thank you for your beautiful comments. I love reading them. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I'd love to have you and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.